Welcome back, boys and girls. Uh, I completely fucked up my intro. You know what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. To more Scooby-Doo Unmasked. I really hope I'm saying the name of this game right. Because <laughs> I don't check. Anyways, where we last left off, we beat the shit out of the caveman. It turned out it was Joe Grimm, right? The fucking security guard. And he was doing it to get oil. We also found out that uh, the guy who sent us out to go look for Jed, Fred's cousin, fucking, um... He's the one behind all this bullshit. So we're back here at the beginning to put an end to his tyranny of I don't know, right? Because we don't know why he's doing this. So, hey Daphne, how's it going? This place looks a lot more dangerous than the first time we were here. I mean, I, I found it weird. Yeah. I found it a little bit weird that in the beginning of the game, like once we got to a certain part of the game, it just kind of like, it just like stopped with like no closure. And it's like, all right, you're in Chinatown now. So there was definitely a little hunch that I had that there's more to this area. I'll cover your back, Scoop. And if you find any food, I'll cover that too. Thanks a lot, Shag. Oh, you won't. <laughs> hey, at least Scooby's being real. He's like, oh, bitch, no, you won't. You lying ass. If Thelma's right, then Stanton will have a lot Stanton, of that's his fucking do. name. I completely forgot. All right, Velma, you ready to get to work on this? Well, I know that, because we got them already. Oh, Ninja Man's over here. And now he's dead. Scooby Snacks. Oh. Well, there's nothing over there. 20 to get a Kung Fu out. Kung Fu? Wow, I can't speak. Kung Fu outfit. Alright. Oh, wow. Was this always filled with deadly electric water? I think it was. Don't bullshit me now. Do I gotta use the key card? Oh no. The button. You hit the button, Scoop. Good job, buddy. He tried to fucking haymaker me. You saw that shit, right? Oh. I didn't realize. Oh, that's a nice little callback, actually. It shows you a preview of the of the enemies you're gonna be fighting. Okay. That's cool. If I can turn my fucking camera now. Thank you. Uh, I can't control this. Thank you. Good job. This was not covered in water before. I remember that. What you standing guard for over here? When the fuck did he have a force field? I also had like no health. I was doing all that shit, not realizing that I was one hit away from death. Oops. Well, I gotta, I gotta jump across then, I guess. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Oh, dump, dump. I got stuck against a wall. Scoob. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Oh, wow. It launched me. Uh, help. Help, please. Help. I made it. That was weird. Okay. I'm one hit point away from death. Oh, great. Checkpoint. Great, so I can do this. Alright. Now everything's back to normal. I'm really happy this game doesn't have any fucking game overs. Would have been really fucking annoying. I'm just gonna have a bunch of this mother shit. You 
wait. Just wait your turn. I'll be with you in a second. I was so confused, I was about to say, like, what did he just say? But he was, like, in the middle of his attack and he yelled Scooby Snack. I think he yelled Scooby Snack. Because I picked up the Scooby Snake. Alright. Get some Scooby Snacks over here. Oh, come on. Come on, Scoop. Good job. Hit the button, Scoop. All right. Time to move on with our lives. And by move our own lives, I I completely forgot what the hell I just activated. Oh, up there? I think it's up there. Uh, I completely missed. Alright. Oh, I missed. That was great. I got stuck against a fucking wall. Like the corner of the walls fucking... There we go. That was all planned out. I definitely didn't do that thinking that I needed... I definitely didn't do that thinking that it would be like a piece of food over there or something. That was all part of the plan. Alright, and this is where we left off at, right? Yeah, I remember coming here and I was like, who the fuck are these motherfuckers? Tied down to a... To like tables and shit, but they're the... They're the little animatronics that we've been fighting. The little animatronics. Why do I call them little? They're not little. Power supply, I guess. The machine that makes them. Zoinks. There's so many of them. Look. Wow. Newsflash, guys. So many of them. It's not like I fought a million before. They breathe fire now. No, that's a that's a dude in the costume. Oh, Jed. hey, hey cousin, uh, do you mind blasting the rest of this too? Just as I suspected, Jed was trapped in that costume. She's right. Yeah, just as you suspected. That's why in the beginning of the game, when I sat there and I went, "Hey guys, should we be worried about this?" I was in there the first time you came by. Yeah, I know. I noticed. Thanks to you, cousin. You won't get away with your life. You won't get away, period. It's Stanton. Sounds like he's in the miniature city set. Why does Jed look super bright compared to Fred? <laughs> like he's highlighted. And he has like a goofy ass shit eating grin the whole entire time. Get away with what? I'm stopping you. Oh, that is a, that is, oh, it's a boss fight. Damn it. Protect me, buildings. Try shooting the plungers at the monster's mouth. Plungers? I don't even have the fucking... Where is it? There we go. So I gotta time it good. 
It seems like two is the number. There we go. Oh, now it's one. Nope. I fucking building. I don't like that it flashes. Maybe that's just a graphical error on my part. Maybe it's not supposed to flash. Uh, Scoop. You completely fucked that up. Suck. Up? Oh shit. It's a little bit fast of reaction. Uh oh. Uh oh. That last one was a pretty close one, not gonna lie. Because there's a little bit of a, not delay, but a little bit of a stiffness, I guess, when controlling where Scooby-Doo flies. Like, I have some resistance here. Oh, fuck. Diagonal. Oh, fuck. Up. This side. Uh, diagonal. There we go. You gotta stop. Come on, it's too fast. <laughs> Shit. I'm afraid if I fuck up... Okay, there you go, it's done. I was afraid if I fuck up, I would have to do it all over again. Stun when it's, uh, okay. Strike when it's stunned. Stop that. Rats are not helping. Shit, come on. Good job, Scooby. Going somewhere. The jig is up, Mr. Stanton. Is it? What? Uh, what? Like there are two of you. Hmm. Scooby. Is he made out of mubber? Hmm. It's the girl. She did it. I forgot her name. She did it. Marcy. Wow. Hey, Fred. It seems Marcy was trying to frame Stanton, not Jed. Marcy. But why? Because but why? I hate Mubber, but you took all the credit for it. I thought that if I gave you a bad name, I could start up my own business. Mr. Stanton, is this true? Marcy, I didn't know you felt this way. You should have talked to me about it. Destroying the reputation of monstrous fright and magic would destroy Mubber. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Marcy. I'd like you to become a partner in the company. If you can forgive yeah, me. Yeah, let's get past all the illegal shit she did. Yeah, I think I can do that. 
She still broke the law. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect it to be a, just like a boss fight. I thought it would be like a whole nother level. Huh. I'm just looking at this. Ah, damn it, 14. And 4 missing. That was close, 94%. Not 100, but eh, you know. My first time playing the game, it was pretty, pretty close. So is that it? No, no credits, no nothing. Oh, there you go. There's the credits. Scooby-Doo Unmask. Well, I didn't think the game would end that fast, to be honest. I thought we would have another help world. Frank Welker. For Fred and Professor Stroker. Who the fuck did, um, Stanton? Because I can't fucking remember his... God damn it. The voice is super familiar, and I can't remember it. God. Oh my god. Chris Ezerly did a lot. Did I fucking... Did they, did they pass Stanton? Did I not realize it? Alright. Well, shit. My bad. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, but, that's Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Um, it's a really fun-ass game. Not gonna lie, it's a nice platformer. I like it. There's a little bit of wonkiness here and there. And by wonkiness, I mean, like, some of the, uh, hitboxes with the, uh, with the, uh, whatchamacallit, with the attacks. Like, both your attacks and the, uh, <sighs> I'm yawning. And the enemy's attacks. But... It's not all that bad, mainly because the game doesn't have game overs and the checkpoint system is... It's really fucking fair. Maybe a little bit too fair, I, I want to say. Like, I like the checkpoint system, but, you know, some people will probably think it's too easy. Especially since, like, if you die, you really don't have to go and fight the enemies over again. But, I mean... It... it I guess for the time it came out, it was supposed to be a kid's game, right? But, like... There's work put in here. It was really fucking good work put in here. Like, they cared when they made this shit. And I'm happy that they cared. Fucking, they put in nice little references, nice little callbacks. Fucking, they even put the fucking laugh track in at certain parts of the game. That's pretty cool. Um. Yeah, fucking. This is a good ass game. I didn't expect this game to be this good. And I'm really happy that I played it. Really, really happy. Fucking, I, I got a big smile on my face right now. Um, so, I just wish that there was a little bit more, oh, I wish there was a little bit more, um, I guess teamwork with both, uh, like throughout the whole entire gang, cause the whole entire show was just basically fucking Scooby and Velma, fucking Fred did nothing, like, besides throw me Scooby snacks at the fucking first boss fight, but he did absolutely nothing. Daphne did twice as nothing, and Shaggy, he was there, but all he did was get caught. Mainly because of stupid things that Scooby would have done. But, um, like, when I'm playing a Scooby-Doo game, there's two, at least two things I expect. One, let me play a Scooby. Two, let me play a Shaggy. And the third thing is, three, give me some sort of mystery-solving aspects, which they, which they did, right? It was nothing too crazy, right? You can just fucking brute force that shit. But, you know, it was there, right? They at least, they at least gave you clues and said, all right, here's what you got. Think about it. Nothing too heavy. It wasn't like, they didn't like trying L.A. Noir it, I guess, right? I still haven't played L.A. Noir. I got to do that at some point. Um, but yeah, fucking overall, it's a good ass game. It's a solid ass game. Definitely, I think anyone should add this game to their collection if you're into that type of shit. Um, thanks to friends and families. Uh, look at all that. Look at that. They cared. They cared. 
when you make a game and you put a fucking thanks to, right, and you got all these names, that means they actually gave a damn, right? That's cool. So, yeah. Good job on this game. Um, after playing this, I, I keep hearing that... See, I hear Unmask. Whenever I whenever I try and look for Scooby-Doo games, I always hear that Unmask is a good one, but I always hear Knights of 100 Frights is better than Unmask. So... Now I'm kind of excited to see Night of a Hundred Frights, right? Um, I'm not sure if I'll play it anytime soon, though, or record it anytime soon. Hell, even this game, I wasn't planning on recording at all. Literally today, this is all recorded in one day. Literally today, I just fucking, I was feeling terrible. I didn't get to uh, stream the night prior, and I didn't even put like a heads up that I didn't stream or whatever because I just I I was like in my bed and I just didn't fucking I couldn't move I felt like shit, um. But I was like, man, I need to feel good, something something to pick me up. Like, there's nothing uh, nothing that I felt like watching on like Netflix or whatever or anything like that. Like, I really just I needed something to make me feel happy today, and this this really did fucking do it like i'm like i'm smiling right now i can't stop smiling i i love it but but overall i forgot my train of thought <laughs> but overall i'm uh i'm really happy really really happy that i finally got to play this and give this a shot um definitely it's a it's a recommend play it's something that i will definitely go back and play on my own time like you know and i'm actually pretty happy that i got to do it around halloween too like this was not at all planned whatsoever so it was just a spare the moment thing and i'm happy that i did it right um hopefully you guys enjoyed the playthrough too right that's also why this isn't being live streamed or anything like that um this is on my own time just just trying to trying to get the moods you know what i mean so yeah i'm actually uh really really happy really happy that this game was recommended to me i'm happy that uh you guys on my stream definitely recommend this to this uh this to me because i wouldn't have tried it if you if it wasn't recommended so that's a real big thanks um i think that's it from my thoughts on this game and everything like that uh, i'm trying to see if there's anything else i want to say well, I guess, I mean, if you want, at, if you made it this far in the playthrough, right? First of all, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching, right? It, I greatly appreciate it. Um, I keep saying um because I'm trying to get my, my thought process going. If you do want to be kind of part of, like, future playthroughs, I do stream my playthroughs, Right? So you can check that in the, uh, like on the, on the YouTube channel, there's definitely like a link to it, right? You can check out the Twitch if you want to check that out. And yeah, I mean, I would like to hear from you guys, like, uh, what are, um, is it just going, okay, it's just looping now. All right, that's cool. Actually, now that it's looping, I would like to see, um, who did, uh. Stanton's voice. Velma, Daphne, uh-huh. Stanton. Adam West. It was Adam West! God damn it! <laughs> oh man. Rest in peace, man. I I knew it was on tip. I'm like, who? I'm like, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? For some reason. Cause Adam West, right? I'm I'm making this video longer than it should be. But Adam West, right? He's not he's not the guy who did Kronk or whatever, but they still had the same like cadence in their voice like the real laid back mellow but somehow like deep you know right like it just goes adam west fuck god damn it i'm so mad i couldn't remember that but yeah that's scooby doing mask fucking like i was saying if you want to if you want to join any of the streams uh my stream schedule is on the twitch page you can get to the twitch page through the youtube channel whatever there's a link in there um, or just check out any of, just check out the stream archives, right, on the YouTube channel, fucking, I always put the, the link in those videos, right, um, 
other than that, I would like to hear what you guys is like kind of childhood game is to go back to and play, right? Like something that, you know, if you pick it up, you're instantly going to put a smile on your face and you just love it and no one can stop you, right? Because for me, I mean, hands in the air right here. For me, it's fucking Kingdom Hearts 2. I play that game like every fucking year and I, I have a problem. Uh, but that's it for now. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. It helps out a lot. If you're not subscribed, please think about it, right? And if you are subscribed and you don't have notifications, click the bell. I hate that I have to say this, but it, it is something that has to be said. Other than that, um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it, actually. If you, if you like the content, leave a like, I guess. I don't, like, that helps on YouTube too, I guess, right? I don't really care about it myself personally, but if you want to help out, helps out. So thanks. Thanks in advance, right? Now, with that all said, once again, thank you guys for watching. I believe I said that about like 50 times by now. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.